Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by Vermont Scale Customs. So, um, this is the Hard Park RC Dementor V2 in carbon fiber uh, with the Hard Park Lynx kit. It's real axles, uh, Fury Tech Komodo, uh, Fury Tech Lizard Pro, uh, Emacs Servo, Majora Pins, uh, everything. And I haven't really showcased this too much just because I've been doing videos, I think, with the, uh, the regular camera. And inside, that just doesn't work. They're not really super close up and super crystal clear. But this is just a couple of desktop climbs to sort of show how this thing noodles around and pretty much tackles anything you put in front of it. And uh, this is actually, I think, just kind of really cool because this has um, three inversions on it, of course. And then you can see where it's kind of, you know, rough in the front right there. And that's kind of a, a crux for the servo horn and everything. It kind of works its way up over that. But basically, it's working up, you know, kind of a negative incline right there until it gets to the top. And then you'll notice the right rear starts to walk right up and I have to kind of wiggle to find the line a little bit but it pulls itself over and by this point it puts the left tire over on an inverted wall but then it just catches and walks right up so just trying to showcase like what this thing can do it really handles breakovers very well and I love watching the suspension work on it it's a pretty fun rig and then I did these before I did the video that I just shared of this and this was just some desktop stuff um, this log actually has like four different lines on it depending on how you flip it over and this is doing like basically the other two lines that the uh, The Dementor just did and this of course is the Albin designed rig as you can see They're two totally different machines and they do behave very very differently from each other um, Even though they're both classified as what you know uh, people call comp rigs and 110 um, they have very, very different personalities. This one doesn't flex quite as much and it only has one position for shocks and it's kind of stubborn in a lot of ways and I sort of like how stubborn it is. Um, it forces me to drive things a little bit differently, um, but it also has a lot of uh, just essentially brute force energy, just, you know, kind of that no give up kind of attitude. It'll pull lines that will really surprise you. Um, and I'm sorry about going so slow on this, but I was driving one handed, trying to film with the phone and etc so i was just basically trying to at least make sure that i could get up this line so um this is a short video i just wanted to showcase these a little bit more than what um i have in the last couple of videos because i haven't really spent a whole ton of time running these and talking about them i guess maybe i have i don't even know i'm just sharing some stuff so anyway yeah i can't wait for spring we're really right smack in the middle of winter. We're getting a bunch more snow. It's mid 20s right now. I took the day off today because I hurt my left shoulder snow shoveling uh, over the weekend. It's from an injury from 1994 where I broke a bunch of bones and dislocated some stuff. And so anyway, I decided to stay home and take it easy today and put this little video together. So um, yeah, as you can see, it just walks right up, you know, in total slow motion almost imperceptibly slow motion um that's that fury tech nano beast that's in there um mofo rc it's still a fury tech nano no matter how you look at it anyway thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for more we'll see you